Okay, hello everybody, what's going on? This is Muhammad. Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve for this integral, for this definite integral. So the integral is from 0 to pi by 4 of x secant squared of x divided by 1 plus the tangent of x dx. Okay, so if we pay attention to the integral here, we notice that the, the derivative of the denominator is secant squared, which is available in the uh, numerator, but we have x that we need to get rid of. So one way to think about this is to think uh, about the integration by parts. So let's do that. Okay, so I will go ahead and assume that u is equal to x and then I will differentiate. So du equals dx and then dv is going to be equal to uh, secant squared of x divided by 1 plus tangent of x. And then, of course, dx, v, uh, now we have a denominator, its derivative in the numerator, so basically we need to, to the, the v is going to be the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the denominator, which is 1 plus tangent of x, that's it. Okay, and then we need to multiply these two terms together, and then subtract uh, the integral of this times this. Okay, so I will put a negative integral here, and then I will uh, try to uh, highlight this so that it is clear and easy to get back to. Okay. And I will highlight it in uh, yellow. Okay, so now we're going to apply the integration by parts. So our integral, and I will call it i, is going to be equal to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of 1 plus tangent of x. And this has to be evaluated, of course, over the limits from 0 to pi by 4. And then minus, I will call the second integral i2, okay, because I will uh, evaluate it separately. Okay, so I2, what is I2? I2, or before we calculate I2, let's find the exact value for the first part of the integral. So if we substitute pi by 4 here, x and x, so that's going to give us uh, pi by 4, the natural logarithm of 1 plus the tangent of pi by 4, which is 1. So uh, the natural logarithm of 2 multiplied by pi by 4. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, divided by 4, the natural logarithm of 2, actually. And the second part is going to give us 0, so basically minus i2. And then we need to calculate for i2. What is i2? i2 is the integral, the definite integral, from 0 to pi pi 4 of the natural logarithm of 1 plus tangent of x, of course, dx. Now, I remember I have solved this integral in a previous video, so I would uh, provide, provide you okay with a link uh, for that in the description. But anyway, I will solve it again here so that you have everything in one place. But of course, I will provide a link for the previous v uh, video for, uh, that, that solves okay, this uh, integral. Okay, so the idea that I used, I remember in the previous video, uh, we're going to use a property that I have proved there. I'm not going to prove here. We're going to use it right away. Uh, but you can go, you can feel free to go back to the previous video that I will provide a link for in the description uh, so that you can see the proof of the property. So the, what is the property? The property is that if you have an integral, a definite integral from A to B of a particular function f of x dx, then that is going to be equal to the integral from A to B of f and then you can change the argument of a from x to a plus b minus x and that would give you exactly the same value okay so i have proven this as i said in the previous video i'm not going to prove it here just to save time okay uh, so uh, if we so if we are going to use this property then i2 is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to pi pi 4 of the natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus tangent. Now, instead of x, I will replace x by a plus b minus x, which is 0 plus pi pi 4 minus x. So that's going to give us pi pi.
pi 4 minus x and we'll, uh, we'll close the absolute value dx. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to use the tangent of, uh, of the difference of two angles, okay, which is basically tangent of the first angle minus tangent of the second angle over 1 plus tangent of the first multiplied by tangent of the second. Okay, so uh, let's do that. Okay, so that's, that's going to give us the integral from 0 to pi by 4 of the natural logarithm of 1 plus and then uh, that's going to give us 1 minus tangent of x over 1 plus tangent of pi pi 4 which is 1 multiplied by tangent of x so that is going to give us tangent of x and then I will close the absolute value uh, dx and then we can rewrite the expression inside the absolute value in a better way we can simplify it like this okay the natural logarithm of the denominator 1 plus tangent of x so we can multiply and divide by 1 plus tangent of x so that's going to give us 1 plus tangent of x plus 1 minus tangent of x so tangent of x and minus tangent of x are going to get cancelled and then we're going to be left out with 2 in the numerator and 1 plus tangent of x in the denominator okay sorry so dx and then what we're gonna do we're gonna use the laws of logarithms to separate this natural logarithm here into two logarithms actually so that's what we're gonna do here the integral from 0 to pi pi 4 of between brackets okay uh, it, uh, the natural logarithm of 2 okay minus the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the denominator which is 1 plus tangent of x and I will close the absolute value and the close the bracket as well I'm sorry and that would give me on dx as well now what we're uh, we can uh, distribute uh, the uh, integral into two integrals okay we can split it into two integrals so the first integral is going to give us uh, it's, it's a constant so we just need to multiply the constant by the length of the interval so that's going to give us pi pi 4 multiplied by the natural logarithm of 2 and then the integral from mine from 0 to pi pi 4 of the natural logarithm of 1 plus tangent of x dx and if you guys can notice, this second integral is nothing but i2 that we have started uh, with. Okay, i2. Okay, so basically we can move i2 to the other part. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, so now i2 is equal to pi pi 4, the natural logarithm of 2 minus i2. So now twice i2 is equal to pi pi 4. The natural logarithm of 2 from that we can calculate for i2 so i2 is going to be equal to pi by 8 the natural logarithm of 2 so now we have calculated for i2 so i will highlight that in yellow so we can easily get back to and then after having calculated for i2 and we have already uh, calculated for i Okay, so what we need to do here is to substitute the value of i2 and the expression for i that we've got before. So i is equal to pi pi, I guess pi 4, right? The natural logarithm of 2, let's double check. Yes, pi pi 4, the natural logarithm of 2 minus i2, where i2 is pi by 8, the natural logarithm of 2. If you subtract, then you're going to get pi divided by 8, the natural logarithm of 2, and that's the final answer of this question. Okay, so uh, if you like this video, hit like, and if this is your first time here and you want to know more about brain teasers, riddles, logic puzzles, viral math problems, and all types of mathematics related problems, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.